Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about hacking tools you need to learn right now. This is the near future and the far, far future. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. This is in no particular order of importance. So number one, Live Hacking OS. Based on Linux, Live Hacking OS is a pack of useful hacking tools used in penetration testing or ethical hacking. It consists of the Genome inbuilt, which is a graphical user interface. A second variation is available, which only has command line. It requires less hardware and is easy to operate. Number two, Network Security Toolkit, also known as NST. This is a bootable live CD based on Fedora Core. It provides the best open source computer and network tools and runs on most of the x86 platforms. This toolkit was designed with the main intent of providing a comprehensive set of open source network security tools to network security administrators. It is used for regular networking, diagnostic monitoring and security responsibilities. Number three, DEFT, D-E-F-T stands for Digital In In Evidence and Forensic Toolkit. And and uh, is based on the Ubuntu operating system. It is a collection of computer forensic documents and programs created by thousands of companies, individuals, and teams, each of which may come under a different license. The process to be followed in determining which software will be sh um, shipped and installed on the DEFT CD by default is outlined by the license policy. Number four, Weaker TH4N. Weaker TH4N is developed by the Debian Squeeze and is a penetration testing distribution. It uses Fluxbox for the desktop environments and it it, you know, as it consists of a number of wireless cracking and hacking tools, it is ideal for Wi-Fi hacking. The wireless tools include SQL hacking, password cracking, Wi-Fi attacks, and Cisco, ex Cisco exploitation. Number five, Nopix STD, security tools distribution. This is a live CD Linux distro based on Nopix and focuses on tools for computer security. GPL license tools are included in the below mentioned categories, encryption authentication forensics password cracking uh next we have cyborg hawk uh a lot of hackers are of the opinion that cyber cyborg hawk a new operating system based on ubuntu linux is the most powerful and cutting edge penetration testing distribution that has ever been created it is lined up with the most quintessential collection of tools for cybersecurity experts and professional ethical hackers. While Kali has more than 300 tools, Cyborg Hawk has 700 plus along with the dedicated tools and menu for analysis of malware and mobile security. It is considered to be a better OS than Kali. Number seven, Samurai Web Testing Framework. The Samurai Web Test Testing Framework, a live uh, Linux environment, has been pre-configured to operate a web pen testing environment. The CD comprises of the best of the free tools and open source that pay attention to testing and attacking websites. In developing this environment, the selection of tools has been based on the tools used for security practice. It includes the tools used in all four stages of web pen tests. Number eight, Pen2, and Pen2, a live USB and live CD based on uh, Gento Linux, okay, and for you people before you make fun of me, it is G-E-N-T-O-O, -O, right, and is created for security assessment and penetration testing. It is provided as a 32 as well as a 64-bit installable live CD. Also, it is available for an existing Gento installation as an overlay. Pen2 features GPGPU cracking software, packet injection, patched Wi-Fi drivers, and a number of tools for security assessment and penetration testing. GR security and PAX hardening, hardening is included in the Pen2 kernel, along with the extra patches with binaries that are compiled from a hardened tool chain. The most recent nightly versions of some of the tools are also available. Before I proceed, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Before I proceed, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button hit that button hit that like button hit that like button <laughs> uh, all right so we're about to continue the next one we have is uh black buntu and a linux distribution by nature black buntu was developed for penetration testing it was designed especially for practitioners of information security and security training students the testing is based on genome desktop environment on black track situation it is used in ubuntu 10.10 .10. Next, we have GNAC Track, and GNAC Track is an open and free project combining Linux Genome Desktop and penetration testing tools. It is based on Ubuntu and is a live and installable Linux distro created for penetration testing. It comes with multiple tools such as W3AF, 
Metasploit and Armitage. Helpful for effective penetration testing. Next, we have Nod Zero. An experienced team of testers and developers have put together this distro. It is based on Linux kernel and obtained from Ubuntu. Historically, penetration testing distributions have utilized the concept of live system of Linux, which means that they try not to make any permanent effects to a system. Therefore, all changes disappear after reboot and run you know, from media such as USB drives and disks. However, its usefulness uh, depletes when used for you know, testing regularly. Additionally, it is believed that live systems do not scale well in a robust testing environment. Do you guys like, like these so far or do you think it's trash? Do you, do you like it or do you think it's trash? Let me know in the comment section below. There, there, there's probably better ones that you guys are like, oh Mike, you, you saying trash ones. <laughs> Next, Parrot, uh, ParrotSec Forensics OS as a Debian GNU Linux based operating system. In combination with Kelly Linux and Frozen Box OS, it provides the best in breed penetration and testing experience. Developed by the Frozen Box dev team, it is an operating system for penetration testing and IT security. So I tried to squeeze in as much as I can as far as tools you need to learn right now, guys. Don't play with this. Um, uh, as society becomes more virtual, as society becomes more technological, things are going to become more automated. We have the we have the advancement of AI. It seems like every other every other three seconds, you know, there's another AI robot, right? There's another AI robot, a Chinese AI robot, a USA AI robot. There's all these kinds of AI ro robots out there. So uh, to compete, to put yourself in a position to not only uh, stay ahead of hackers, if that's even possible, you're going to want to learn these tools. I believe, in my opinion, penetration testing, IT auditing, and uh, penetration testing, IT auditing, uh, Vulnerability scanning is really, of you know, it's, 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 it's going to be one of the vital skills in the cybersecurity space in the future. So uh, that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Uh, also, uh, please hit the notification bell uh, because I want you to know when I'm uploading new videos so you can click that thing readily available. So please. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and please share this content. You know, there's all kinds of forums and all kinds of, you know, uh, blog posts and everything. Let's have this conversation on a global scale, right? Because it's not only for me and you, the audience, but let's have this conversation on a global scale. Let's get the cyber secu security community talking about what are the tools that people must know in order to maximize not only their skill set but their careers in the cybersecurity space it's about you it's about me it's about us collectively so uh stay safe and see you in the next video